Hello everyone, and welcome back to Explainer. Today, we're diving into a pivotal moment in economic history that shaped the course of the 20th century, the Wall Street Crash of 1929. This catastrophic event had far-reaching consequences, leading to the Great Depression and influencing economic policies for decades to come. So, buckle up as we take a deep dive into the causes, events, and aftermath of this historic financial meltdown. To truly understand the Wall Street crash, we need to set the stage. The 1920s, often referred to as the Roaring Twenties, were marked by economic prosperity and societal change. The stock market, particularly on Wall Street, was experiencing unprecedented growth, and the general sentiment was one of optimism and exuberance. One of the primary causes of the crash was the rampant speculation in the stock market. Investors were buying stocks on margin, meaning they were borrowing money to invest. This created a fragile financial environment where a slight downturn could trigger a cascade of sell-offs. The 1920s saw a boom in industrial production, leading to overproduction of goods. However, wages did not rise at the same pace, resulting in a disparity where consumers couldn't afford the excess products. This imbalance between production and consumption set the stage for an economic downturn. Banks played a significant role in the crash. They were heavily invested in the stock market and engaged in risky lending practices. When the market began to decline, banks faced severe losses, triggering a wave of bank failures. The climax of the Wall Street crash occurred on October 29, 1929, famously known as Black Tuesday. On this fateful day, panic selling reached a peak and the stock market plummeted. Billions of dollars were wiped out in a matter of hours and fortunes were lost overnight. The aftermath of the crash was devastating for individuals. Countless investors lost their life savings and unemployment rates skyrocketed. Many faced foreclosure on their homes and the economic hardship reached far beyond Wall Street. Businesses also felt the heat. With consumer spending sharply declining, companies faced reduced profits and had to cut back on production. This, in turn, led to widespread layoffs, deepening the economic crisis. The Wall Street crash is often considered the catalyst for the Great Depression, a prolonged period of economic downturn that lasted throughout the 1930s. The effects were global, with economies worldwide experiencing the ripple effects of the crash. In response to the economic crisis, governments implemented various policies to stabilize their economies. In the United States, President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal aimed at providing relief, recovery, and reform through a series of programs and initiatives. The Wall Street crash of 1929 left an indelible mark on the world. It reshaped economic thinking, leading to the establishment of regulatory bodies like the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to prevent a similar catastrophe. Lessons learned from the crash influenced economic policies for decades, emphasizing the need for prudence and regulation in financial markets. As we reflect on the Wall Street crash of 1929, it serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of financial markets and the importance of responsible economic practices. The events of that fateful day shaped the trajectory of economies for years to come, leaving an enduring legacy that we still feel the echoes of today. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on Explainer. Until next time, stay curious.